I am Austin Oduor Otieno, clinical officer from Kenya, working in Migori County Government. I am the president of the Global Association of Clinical Officers and Physician Associates. It is GACOPA in short. It's an international association that was formed, registered in Ghana on December 27, 2018, with four main agendas to bring CEOs, PAs, clean, clinical associates, medical assistants and analogs together to discuss the issue of common name, common curriculum, to engage WHO on recognition and for unity for purpose. I can just mention there are about 21 countries spread across the world, including the headquarters, Ghana. We just uh, inducted the new executive two today, where we are having regional uh, base like Asia, like Europe, like Australasia or Stokoshenia, like America and Africa also. So it is regional that is bringing us together with the agendas that I've mentioned. One of the challenges is the issue of uh, different countries have got different uh, ways of handling this type of CADA where you find other countries have moved ahead, others are lagging behind, others have got uh, strict rules. So the challenges of inclusivity, the challenges of the common curriculum, uh, each, the, the different curriculums has been there. And then also bringing people together has not been very easy. It has taken us a long, a long time and uh, we are still continuing with that journey. One of the achievements we've made is to bring people together. As you can see today, we are more than 200 delegates spread across the world with the introduction of Malaysia, who majority of the people do not know that Malaysia trains medical assistants, and they have come here, a team of seven from, uh, sponsored by the Ministry of Health. Then we are also uh, pleased to say that we've infiltrated the, the Papua New Guinea territory where we've got the health extension officers. So when we started, we started, uh, when we started with around six or seven countries, but now we've moved up to the 27 countries. That shows that that's achievement. Then our first conference in Ghana was not much well attended, and I can say that there is a great achievement that we've made, and you can see the second conference, how it has been. We collaborate with the Physician Assistant for Global Health. We collaborate with the Physician Assistant Educators Association. We collaborate, uh, and recently we are also collaborating with the National uh, uh, Certification Commission for Certification of Physician Assistants. We are also collaborating with the different associations spread across uh, the world, where we have the likes of the Kenya Clinical Officers Association, Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, PACASA, uh, Medical Assistant Association of Malaysia, and then we are also trying to bring other associations like the P Euro PA. So those associations we are collaborating with, like any other organization, partnership is key. Uh, the main reason why we are collaborating is for unity for purpose and those main agendas that I've put there. The collaboration will be mutual. We have to engage. We are driving the agenda of bringing all these titles together and we want to do what, other, what our, uh, our, our, our colleagues in other professions like the nurses and doctors are doing. And that is why this conversation has begun and it will keep on continuing. Yeah, it will be a very important day you realize that other Professionals like nurses and doctors have got their week of celebration, which WHO uh, always take part in that. And they say that uh, the, the American Academy of Physician Assistants have also been doing theirs. Uh, different associations have been doing, I can remember even in Ghana, the associations there, the GPA, the GRAPAG, they've been doing their week. Malaysia doing their week of celebration next week. So as GACOPA, we will sit as an executive and the, a decision that will be made by the expanded uh, delegates, uh, the, 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 the delegates uh, committee that, that will sit, will come up with that and then we will move that agenda forward. So maybe hopefully uh, ahead of our 2021 Malaysia, the Copa Malaysia where we'll be holding our third conference, maybe we'll have discussed that. It, you saw what Malaysia did, the presentation they made, 200 and more than 200 years. The, 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 the profession has been existing. Kenya it started in 1930-something. Uh, uh, Uganda, it was earlier in 1918, I think, 19. And then other countries like uh, Malawi, Zimbabwe. And then recently, the introduction of the PA in Europe. There is the PA, the, the health extension officers in uh, Papua New Guinea, which has taken like uh, more than uh, 15 years. The medical assistant, we've talked about them there. There's the Bangladesh I was forgetting, and the Bangladesh are also calling them the medical assistant, and it has been there for almost 30 years. So. This profession, like Rwanda here, it's now like nine years. People are different countries that don't have that type of uh, profession. They are coming up and they're bringing them on board. There is some future. I'm seeing 
a United Clinical Officer, Physician Assistant, Physician Associate, Medical Assistant in under one name, even if it is not one name, maybe two or three names, but I'm seeing unity for purpose. You can see here the way unity for purpose has been demonstrated in this second, the COPA International Delegates Scientific Conference. And then we also need to encourage other associations, other partners to also do the same, to be bringing people together so that we can share this conversation together. People should come next year because they, you've seen what has just happened today, this second international delegate scientific conference where it has demonstrated that there is a lot that we need to do as clinical officers, physician assistants, clinical associates. So moving this agenda forward, we need to also converge again and uh, discuss on these issues that we've tabled. There are a lot of issues that are on table and that's why I'm saying that apart from networking, the unity for purpose and the discussions that are put there, the COPPA also wants to move to continue bringing other members on board.